So before I jump in and explain why I don't think MW3 is actually a bad game, I want to address my last two videos. A lot of my viewers didn't seem to understand my warped and autistic sense of humor, so I want to apologize to them. I'm not that stupid to be mad about PAL World's existence or dumb enough to send the developers a letter where I basically plagiarized Anna Lynn McCord's letter to Putin. For the real ones out there, they <laughs> knew it was clearly a bit and I was stretching my artistic and autistic abilities, I love you guys. To the rest, I hope you come around. People are far too serious. I mean, come on. The newest Suicide Squad is a gem. I bought 10 copies of The Final Shape. Do you guys really think I'm that stupid? Like, damn, dude. <laughs> but you're not here to hear about that. You're here to hear about MW3. So why is not MW3 a terrible game? I mean, you can find countless videos bashing the game, saying it is horrible, and that it's just another installment in the COD series milking us for all the money we're willing to give. Well, it never claimed to be anything else. I mean, when we thought about MW3, the way it was marketed and described to me at least, the way I interpreted it was, okay, this is MW2 with 2009 MW2 maps on a version of the game engine where movement is better, ADS is faster, etc. And that's exactly what it was. Yes, they didn't reinvent the wheel, but they didn't need to. Now, I'm not saying all games should do this iterational engine improvements bullshit, like, for example, Overwatch did when they moved from Overwatch 1 to Overwatch 2. If all games did that, it would be a disaster, and we'd basically just be paying for the exact same games with slight differences over and over. Remember when Overwatch 2 came out? I mean, luckily it was free to play, but the entire reason we were excited for Overwatch 2 was the PvE modes, and all those promises that were shortly put to rest and scrapped by Blizzard almost right after the game came out. So why does Overwatch 2 even exist? The same could easily be said for MW3, but I think we all knew this game was basically going to be MW2.5, at least I did. There was no doubt in my mind that I knew exactly what I was getting when I purchased this game. I actually purchased the game on Steam and on PS5 because after purchasing the game on PlayStation, I realized the new and snappier movement system would feel much better on PC. And yes, I did feel like a moron for purchasing it twice, okay? I wasn't proud of that, but for the most part, I was right. I played the game on PC and it was much snappier and I was able to pull off better matches easily. Why am I telling you all this? Well. We all want to pretend we're so shocked when games come out that are just cash grabs now, and that's exactly what MW3 was, don't get me wrong. Especially if you didn't know what you were getting into and you just knew it was the new Call of Duty game without any prior research. But there's hundreds, you know what, no, thousands of videos out there taking huge shits on MW3, yet it's still one of the most played games. Why is that? Do we just like being taken advantage of? Did I purchase the game twice because I like being dicked down by Activision that much? Well, this can all be boiled down to nostalgia, okay? I missed out on the MW2 2009 launch when I was a 10-year-old kid. I didn't really have a console back then to play the game on. I had a PS2 and an original modded Xbox, and I didn't get a PS3 until around two years later, but that's a story for another video. When I saw MW3, the newest Call of Duty, was launching with all of the OG MW2 maps, I didn't care about anything else. I just wanted to play on those maps in this new engine. The biggest problem in Call of Duty lately, at least in my opinion, has been them trying to shove these ass maps down our throats and expecting us to just eat it up. MW2 went south extremely quickly for this reason, among others, and I think Activision knew the only way they were going to redeem this was by giving us those classic maps back, and so they did. And you know what? For the first time in a while, I'm actually enjoying all this new movement tech on top of the remastered classic maps from back in the day. Maybe I'm fucking nuts, I don't know. But the game does scratch that itch that COD was meant to scratch, at least for me. I don't blame anyone for not purchasing the game and staying far the fuck away from it, but for me personally, I knew what I was getting into when I purchased MW3. I'm not expecting Activision to reinvent the wheel anymore, and if you look at most of these AAA games like that, you're probably never going to be happy if you are expecting that. And I don't even blame you for not being happy about it. It's really sad amongst all these billions of dollars they've made. They, they couldn't make a game that had half the notoriety of the MW2 2009 maps, so their only strategy was to use the new engine tech and return to their roots. But hey, I bought the game twice, so nostalgia baiting does work, at least to some degree. We'll see you guys next video, and peace the hell out. I just want to say that I don't make any ad revenue from YouTube whatsoever. I'm actually like banned from uh, Google AdSense, I believe, uh, for something I didn't do, by the way. It was like invalid click activity. So if you guys do want to help me out, slapping the like button and also subscribing and turning all notifications on by hitting the bell really does help, okay? I make these videos purely because I like to make YouTube videos 
and uh, just talk about certain topics that I care about. So I would appreciate if you guys did subscribe. And there is currently no way to fiscally support the channel. I don't want to do that until my channel is a lot bigger. But uh, I am going to continue to make videos because it's what I like to do. So thank you guys for the support, and we'll see you guys next video.